Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are exploring the five most visually stunning Linux distros of 2025. We are not diving into benchmarks or install guides. This is purely about eye candy, themes, wallpapers, animations, and overall polish. Whether you are a Linux newbie or have some experience, these distros will make your desktop look amazing straight out of the box. Let's jump right in. Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu and ships with the GNOME desktop by default. There's also an XFCE Lite version if you've got older hardware. What makes Zorin stand out visually is its Zorin appearance tool. It lets you switch between Windows-like, macOS-like or classic GNOME layouts with a single click. The default theme is a crisp blue and grey paired with scenic high-res wallpapers like mountain vistas. You'll find a centered bottom dock showing your favorite apps workspace, switcher icons, and even a show desktop button. Plus, Zorin includes its own icon sets in multiple color accent, so everything feels consistent. Next up is Deepin OS, built around its proprietary Deepin Desktop Environment DDE. DDE is created with Qt slash QML and delivers a super polished look, a sleek bottom dock, a unified widget style, and an all-in-one control center sidebar. Deepin 25 introduced the Treeland Compositor for buttery smooth animations and dynamic window tiling. You'll notice gorgeous transparency effects, fluid, minimize, maximize transitions, and even multi-finger gesture support. The default wallpaper gallery features high-resolution nature scenes that can change throughout the day. Deepin's design is cohesive from top to bottom, making it one of the most refined desktops available. Pop OS by System76 has long been a favorite for its custom GNOME tweaks. But the big news in 2025 is Cosmic, a brand new desktop environment written from scratch in Rust. Cosmic isn't a GNOME extension, it's its own GUI with a theming engine, panel, dock system, and tiling window manager. In the current alpha, Alpha 7 rolled out in April 2025, you get flexible panel placements, customizable dock, and smooth workspace transitions. There's also a set of native Cosmic apps, like a sleek new media player. The space-themed wallpapers and unified icon styling really drive home that Cosmic vibe. Even though it's still under heavy development, Cosmic already delivers a futuristic, polished experience that's worth checking out. KDE Neon is all class, with a twist of fun. It's beautiful, simple, and always makes a statement. Every time I fire up a KDE Neon, virtual machine and log into the desktop, it just makes me smile. Picture this, KDE Neon uh, shows up to the prom and everyone can't help but stare because it's taken something sweet and simple and made it worthy of the title king or queen. What really sets KDE Neon apart is that it showcases Plasma 6, the next generation KDE environment. It proves that Plasma 6 isn't just another update, it's something truly special. The wallpapers they've bundled are nothing short of magical, and even though the core interface may look familiar, the Neon team has managed to make every element feel fresh and inviting. There's honestly nothing to dislike here, just a refined, elegant desktop that feels both classic and cutting edge. Last, but certainly not least, is Garuda Linux. This Arch-based rolling release offers multiple spins, but the flagship is KDE Plasma with the custom Dragon Eyes theme, Think dark backgrounds with neon cyan and magenta accents, glowing icons, and a polished dock or curved bottom panel. Garuda enables desktop blurs and blur behind effects by default, making notifications and widgets pop. The default wallpapers are high contrast sci-fi or neon lit landscapes matching the distro's gamer-friendly branding. And because Garuda is rolling release VES, you're always on the latest Plasma version. If you love bold futuristic visuals, Garuda has it in spades. And there you have it, the five most beautiful Linux distros of 2025. Zorin OS for polished familiarity, Deepin for cohesive modern design, Pop OS's Rust built Cosmic for a glimpse at the future, Cutefish OS for clean minimalism, and uh, Garuda Linux for bold neon lit flair. Which one catches your eye? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this visual tour, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux content, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.